Hi guys, so we're going to go over four of the movements that are going to be part of the Call of Duty Call for Life on October 5th. Um, we're going to go over them one at a time and just make sure that you understand what the range of motion that we're looking for is. All right, so the sandbag step up. This is, uh, this is one that's going to be really easy to try to cheat um, and you won't even know you're doing it. So don't worry, we'll let you know. So the sandbag is going to be on your back. You're going to step up onto the box and you're going to lock the hip and the knee out and stand fully erect and upright. So that's a pretty simple thing. Now, what's typically going to happen when you get tired is people are going to start not standing all the way up. So let's go ahead right there, standing back down, right? Not standing all the way up, not good, good, right? So that's what we're looking for. Both feet on the ground, both feet on the box, full lock out at the top. We're good to go. Thousand one. Thousand two. Oh, cool. All right, so now we're going to go over the, the sandbag thruster. Dude, I can't believe you just did a thousand sandbag thrusters. That's amazing. All right, so the sandbag is going to start up the shoulders, and what we're looking for is depth and lockout at the top. Um, not necessarily good form. We're going to encourage that, and we're going to coach that, but what we want is full range of motion, right? So you're going to see the hip below the knee at the bottom. Now let's go up to parallel, right? So that's pretty sketchy. If I'm judging you, I'm going to say, look, lower on the next rep, okay? A little higher. That's not deep enough, we're not gonna count that rep, okay? So all the way down, all the way up, he's gonna lock out, we're looking for elbows locked out at the top, sandbag is over the heel, and that's gonna be a nice full range of motion on the sandbag for us guys. So for the rowing portion, each team is gonna row 2,000 meters. Um, every team member has to row a minimum of 200 meters. So if you have somebody that's a, a rowing champion, um, they can't just roll a whole 2K, you've gotta switch out, everybody's gotta put in their 200 meter effort. The damper can be anywhere you want. It doesn't matter. You can have it on 10, you can have it on one. That's a personal preference issue, okay? So after your team has rowed the 2,000 meters, then we're gonna do the belly flop burpees, and we'll go over that next. And for the rower facing burpees, or what we've deemed the belly flop burpees, right? You're in the boat, water, belly flop. It makes sense. Um, what we're looking for is just like a bar facing burpee. Carlos is gonna do a full burpee facing the rower, it's going to hit chest on the ground, laying flat. So go ahead and bring your chest up a little bit. So this is a la Carlos at the fittest of the Sierras, right? That's not acceptable. We need that chest all the way on the ground, okay? He's going to stand up, and then he's going to jump over the rower. Both feet are going to leave the ground at the same time, and both feet are going to hit the ground at the same time. So coming over the rower one foot at a time, like so. Ooh, really easy. Nice way to save energy, not acceptable. That's a no rep, okay? So every rep has to be chest hitting the ground. Do you have to hit full extension at the top like a normal burpee? No, you don't, but you do have to broad jump over the rope. Okay. For the two rep uh, shoulder to overhead, uh, two rep max, we're looking for a few things. First of all, the barbells are gonna start on the ground. We will have heavier and lighter barbells depending on whether or not you're a seasoned athlete or if you're kind of a beginner. Um, keeping in mind that this, this tournament is a charity, it is, it's for a good cause, we're trying to have a good time. Not trying to win a quarter of a million dollars. So, pick the appropriate bar. If you're, if you're a beginner, don't try to pick up more weight than you're able to do. So we're going to have the barbell, it's going to be on the ground. We're going to bring it to the shoulder, clean it. Okay, now from here, you can go overhead in one of various ways. Any way from shoulder to overhead. So you can do a strict press, not recommended. You can do a push press. You can do a push jerk. Push jerk. You can do a split jerk. Okay? But what I do want to see is I want to see you stand fully upright with feet reset before lowering that bar. So let's go ahead and do a, uh, a split jerk. Now start lowering the bar before the feet are together. Not acceptable, that would be a no rep. So make sure you go ahead and split jerk again. Feet recover, locked out, that's a rep. Bring it back down and repeat. We will have bumper weights, so if you find yourself in a position where you don't think you can safely stand that weight up, get up from underneath it, throw it down, the weights are meant to be dropped. All right.